Have you ever thought to yourself, wow, why culture has so many unique ideas, cultural customs, and manifestations unique to those people? No. Well, that's because it doesn't. And further on that point, do you ever notice that it's okay to call someone else white trash? That's because most of us are. Except Ryan Gosling. But if you're a fellow white and you desire to exist in the fellow arts and humanities of others, watch La La Land. I don't really remember the premise, but it had something to do with Ryan Gosling coming out as jazz, or to be more precise, gender jazz, non-binary jazz, gender. You see, I took the message of the movie very seriously. If you hate your life, you turn to jazz. And trust me, there's no monkeying around when it comes to jazz. Just watch Whiplash. And my search led me to find the legendary Vortex Club. No, not the Vortex you're thinking of. Why would that? I, I'm not putting that. And at the club, my white senses were awakened once I heard the musicians play. How, how come we can't see through wine? You see, in that moment, I understood how Ryan Gosling felt. And I also understood that the good African American musicians in New Orleans weren't just trying to make good music, they were trying to teach whites about culture. And on the way home, I was too inspired to listen to anything Trisha had to say. And it also made me want to watch Soul again, which is a dark movie we're letting kids watch, by the way. Like, we're making kids think about the mortality? Jesus Christ. I mean, you know, uh, am I the only one who thinks that? That it's like, it's too early to... Now, you might think that the experience made me want to release my inner musician. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm jazz-phobic. But at least it gave me a video. <laughs> 